For the first time in nearly 30 years, a crew is sealing itself inside an enclosed habitat on the grounds of Biosphere 2. With the help of NASA and the U of A, they're studying how one day people might live and work in outer space. Nine on your side's Ryan Fish takes us inside. This was the test module for the original Biospherians about 30 years ago, and now it's become the habitat for an all-new mission. It's a machine. It's a, it's a spaceship without rockets. So this is the crew quarters. So we have a fully stocked kitchen. It's all vegetarian, dehydrated, and freeze-dried foods, uh, indicative of what we might actually take to Mars, uh, and also what we might be able to grow on Mars. A short walk from the main biosphere structure, this roughly 1,200 square foot pressurized habitat is known as the space analog for the moon and Mars, or SAM. A four-person crew will be sealed inside for six days. It's just excitement. I just want to get in there. I want to start this. I'm excited to see what I learn. The only facility in the world like this, is it's a big deal. Uh, and to be the first people to be able to utilize and operate all those life support systems is a very big deal. It's so important to do this kind of testing, figure out all the things that could go wrong here, where we can get out, make sure everyone's safe, as opposed to out there. The crew is studying how to live, work, and grow food outside of Earth's atmosphere one of the original goals of Biosphere 2. I grew much of my own food in here during those three weeks. Biosphere and Linda Lay lived here for three weeks back in the late 80s. Today, she's passing the torch to this new crew. A new mission about to start. What are you, what's going through your head? It's so exciting. It's just great. I think this is going to take a really, really big step to be able to go off of our planet. The mission is appropriately called Inclusion One. Comms and Accessibility <laughs> Officer Sherry Wells Jensen is blind. Right now we're sort of set up for able-bodied people to go to space um, and we have not done enough consideration of how people with different bodies and different abilities will fit into that program and we really cannot afford to go to space and leave 25 percent of humanity behind. 25 percent of people identify as having a disability. We need to go to space with everybody. Sam will house an Inclusion Two mission with a different crew next month. It's not just the experiments they're running inside, it's the building itself is the experiment. This is not a finished product, it's just the beginning. Ryan Fish, Kega 9, on your side.